me and Rey Mysterio are going to meet in a champion versus champion match. Me being the newly crowned World Heavyweight Champion going up against the Cruiserweight Champion, Rey Mysterio. Neither of our titles will be on the line, but it's probably a way to boost up ratings. So, let's go on ahead, go into this match up against Buyaka Buyaka 619. Buyaka Buyaka, that's my Pueblo. Buyaka Buyaka 619. Buyaka Buyaka, Rey Mysterio. Okay, I... I will stop that. I, I think I might know some of the words actually. Da 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 Mysterio. Hey, I got go go get Sandy. Yeah, okay, yeah. I don't know the Spanish word because of the song. So, anyway, Rey Mysterio versus Ya Boy in this one on one match. He's responding with a neck breaker of his own. I always really liked the uh, the EG uh, armbands that he would wear as I hit a nice little backdrop. Obviously, this was a few years after Eddie Guerrero unfortunately passed away, and that other guy did that other horrible thing in real life, and um, <clears throat> yeah, just uh, not not good times for that whole friend group. But um, yeah, so it was always like super super cool to see that uh, Ray put on the armbands just for for his boy, you know. And at the time, even still now to this day, I didn't really mind too much of Rey Mysterio being the world heavyweight champion. I I get it. He was 175 pounds, but I don't know. It was just a feel good good moment that I felt like needed to ha like happen, although they kind of like almost they pretty much ruined it by like pretty much including Eddie Guerrero into the storyline. I I don't know. It's it's kind of a weird situation cuz on one hand, Rey Mysterio would have never won the world title had um Eddie well, I, I shouldn't say that because, you know, that's just being a little disrespectful. But, like, and Ray could have possibly been world champion one day. It's just that at that time, it was. It just wasn't his time just yet, only because, like, he was still super popular. But I think, like, in the later 2010s, like, he. Or in the later 2000s, he got super duper popular. You know, and oh, look at that nice little leg drop by Razor. I always thought that was a cool move. But yeah, uh, I, I mean, I did not mind Rey Mysterio being world champion. I just hated the fact that he was used so poorly as world champion, you know. But I, I guess none of that matters now because Rey is one of the greatest. He's probably the best, like, little man, like, ever in professional wrestling. Like, that guy is just unfreaking believable and right now he is destroying me so we gotta wake up your car no oh no he hit the 619 and my guy had a red torso no not this freaking move oh god going for the west coast pop no springs off the ropes hurricane rana look at that unnecessary replay single leg cover one kick out connor don't let him upset no no, what a huge upset by the Cruiserweight Champion. What a display of respect from these two superstars. You know it's the Mac Militant. Coming to get it on. Now that's what I'm talking about. How about a big hand for both of these outstanding superstars? Thanks, Teddy. And thank you, SmackDown fans. And if you thought that was a good match, imagine how much better it would be if the World Heavyweight title was on the line sometime. Come on now, player. You've already got one title. Let's not go getting greedy now. Besides, I've already got a couple of contenders in mind for the World Heavyweight title. Chris and The Undertaker and Champ You'll be facing them next week in tag team action. Wow, the champions in action next week against Benoit and The Undertaker. It's like a pay-per-view for free. The Dead Man, the Rebel Wolverine, and now the champ. All right, since you and Mysterio had such a great match last week, I'm putting you two in a tag team match, player, because this is SmackDown and Tay Long is still the GM, so... Obviously, of course, there has to be a tag team match, and he really does not want to give Ray the title shot at all because he's a cruiserweight. What a douche. Hey, champ. It's Ray. 
Teddy Long just told me that I'm gonna be your tag team partner tonight against Benoit and The Undertaker. I can't wait. Maybe showing that I can hang with three world heavyweight title contenders in a main event match would persuade Teddy that I deserve to be in the title picture. Anyway, dog, good luck, and I'll see you out there. I have no idea how we're going to pull this off. Me and Rey Mysterio going up against The Undertaker and Bruno San Martino. That is still clearly his name. He looks really weird in this game, Bruno San Martino. They didn't give him, like, the afro. Like I mentioned before, they went back, they had, like, a time machine, and they went all the way back to the 1970s. Uh, actually, it was, like, the late 1970s, early 1980s, when Bruno was still kind of in his prime, but was starting to fade out a little bit. And, um, yeah, look at, oh, my gosh, look at Bruno San Martino with that release German suplex dropping me on my freaking head. That that would hurt, you know, especially taking a neck bump like that. That would, that is, yeah, no, no, thank you. I'm not, I'm not freaking doing that. That's just cruel and unusual punishment for someone to be doing that. And look at Rey Mysterio. He can't even lift up Bruno San Martino. Like, the, like, again, I hate the fact that, like, going up against the super heavyweights and there's, like, that weight class uh, division. Ooh, and the Undertaker chokeslamming me into the turnbuckle as Bruno hits a nice little drop kick there. And now going for a vertical suplex. Oh, just hanging me out to dry on the ropes, which they can burn, folks. They... Like, if you're not careful, they can be really quite painful as me and Ray are hitting the double boots. And we are both going to drop the leg on him, brother. Let me tell you something, brother. I, no, wait, wait did uh, Bruno and Hulk Hogan ever face off? No, that I, I, they, did they ever face off? Let me, let me look that up for a second. Hold on. I know there's a match going on, but, um, let me just see versus Hulk Hogan. I'm just... Kind of distracted. Did they ever fight? Oh, they actually did wrestle. No, they never wrestled. Yeah. Um, that match would have been crazy. Uh, although Hogan probably would have still wanted to put himself over rather than freaking Bruno. But whatever. Knowing Hulk Hogan. But anyway, okay. This isn't about Hulk Hogan. This is about this tag team match this future generation actually no this is a match this is a game from 2007 so there's just a whole little time frame like what if my guy was wrestling back in 2007 i said i hit a flapjack on the ramp and we're just going to go ahead and do the count out victory count out club for life and win this match by count out only because eh, you know what tag I, I hate tag team matches in this game they are extremely difficult very frustrating, and um, yeah, we ain't doing that. We're just going to win by count out. All right, player. It's Theodore alone buzzing you, just like I said. You had some ring time against Benoit and The Undertaker tonight. And as far as I'm concerned, it's a money match no matter which one you face at Armageddon. So I'm leaving it up to you, dog. Who do you want to put the world heavyweight title on the line against? Let me know. Holler at me. I am going to go... For a rematch with The Undertaker. Gong. Oh boy, it looks like Chris Benoit has some words for the champion. Yeah, and the champ's got a couple of his own. That's Rey Mysterio. What's he doing here? Whoa, a ginormous missile drop kick on. think the champ appreciated Mysterio's assistance. How is this going to play out next week on SmackDown? Okay, so now apparently we have a four-man battle royal. So that's that's cool. Hey dog, it's Ray. I'm really sorry if I misread the situation last week. I just wanted to make sure that you made it all right to Armageddon in one piece. And Benoit looked like he was ready to explode. Yo, I hope everything's cool with us. Anyway... I'm looking forward to our four-man battle royal tonight against Benoit and Undertaker. Two main event matches in a month. That's got to look pretty good for my world heavyweight title chances, right? Well, talk to you later, dog. Adios. Adios, Rey Mysterio, as 
We are down to the final three men. We got the Undertaker out of them early and often in this battle royale. You have to eliminate your opponent by pinfall or submission. Last person standing is the winner. You have to, like, the strategy for this match is you have to attack every single person. Like, if you get someone in the red, then go after the the uh, the opposite person. So that way um, you can get, like, I guess quicker eliminations. And when you get down to the end, you don't have to worry about your guy getting messed up by someone who's already, like, down and out like Rey Mysterio is. I mean, seriously. Or if we can pin Rey after a chop, that would be really embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Rey Mysterio lost. Oh my goodness. And because I won the match, I get to choose the match type for Armageddon against The Undertaker. And I'm trying to decide between a ladder match and a cage match. Yeah, screw it. We'll go with a ladder match just because I feel like it's a disadvantage to The Undertaker. I'm allowed to escape still. And um, yeah, Undertaker would probably kill me if we were stuck inside a cage. That would... uh. That would definitely not be good, so let's go ahead, grab this ladder. Snapmare, take over to The Undertaker. We are at Armageddon. We are going to be moving some of these episodes along pretty quickly just because um, I really want to... Um, I, I haven't been, like, uh, editing these videos the past couple of days with, like, work and, like, other related issues. So, oh, I hit the CJO on The Undertaker. Now I'm just whacking him with a chair. We are just going to be timing going through this because, yeah, you know, this uh, this game's cool and all. But you know me. I like to go through walkthroughs fast, you know, bang, bang, bang. So that way we can just move on to the next one because there are a lot of games that you guys would like me to play. Drop toe hold into the ladder. That did not feel good on the Undertaker's face. And now I am going to drop kick him into the ladder. Undertaker is not feeling good. Oh, stupid referee, get out of the way. Uh, I, I really hate the referee getting involved in the matches in this freaking campaign. I just, it, it's so annoying. It's like, can this guy just freaking move to the left a little bit? Not like freaking what they told Captain America in Avengers Endgame. Oops, sorry, it's a, a little bit of a spoiler alert. Cross body onto the ladder. Jesus, that does not feel good at all. I, I, I don't know if I can tell you from personal experience because, yeah, I actually, there was, a, there was a job that I did many years ago back in high school and we had this ladder set up and, well, look at this, this ladder set up right here. Oh my gosh, the Undertaker just freaking ran up the ladder and sat up and no sold it. That was one of the other cool features in SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 where you could run up the ladder like Shelton Benjamin, like this spot he did at WrestleMania 21 in the first ever Money in the Bank ladder match, which was one of the greatest spots of all time. But anyway, here's another cool spot. You can actually do the Shane McMahon elbow drop on the announce table. Don't do it. Don't do it. By God, they just cut it on our tiger. Good God Almighty. And, yeah, so what was I saying? Oh, yeah, uh, there was this uh, whole little thing where, oh, my God, wait, hold up. The Undertaker, he's about to freaking win the match. I, I couldn't find the sweet spot, per se. I'm trying to wiggle around the left and right analog stick pretty much everywhere, and they're just not letting me freaking do it. It's really, really annoying. All right, so now me and Undertaker are fighting on the ladder. Which one of us is going to fall? To our death, well, not our death, but, you know, down to canvas, which you could also die if you land the wrong way, but, yeah, anyway, um, back to my job in high school, I remember I once, like, tried to throw myself into, like, a ladder, um, no one was around, and I just decided to do it for, you know, shits and giggles, <laughs> and, um, I, and I'm, I'm not gonna lie, like, I didn't do it that hard, but it still freaking hurt like hell, and yeah, that was um, that was one of the last times I decided to ever do something stupid like that. So, God bless these poor unfortunate souls who have to go through a ladder match because it it looks cool, and I'm sure people are brave enough to do it. But 
I mean, not, you know, I'm, 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 I'm going to do a little, 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 little ma ladder match, you know. I mean, my bones might be broken, but, <laughs> but like, seriously, ladder matches are always one of the coolest match types in pro wrestling. Did you guys see The Undertaker do a diving leg drop after throwing me off the freaking ladder? God, that's just, that's, that's not good. But, um, yeah, so, like, um... Oh, as I hit another CJO, there we go. But, like, um, yeah, ladder matches definitely aren't fun for people's bodies. So, yeah, this is this is really tough. Like, I'm trying to find the freaking sweet spot, and I'm trying to move the left analog stick. Like, and it's not, not letting me go. Like, it's not letting me freaking do it. And I'm losing my grip, too. Oh, oh, wait, there we go. There we go. Just got hold it. No, hold it. Ah, oh, stupid freaking grip, and I lost all my stamina. And, um, yeah, I, I went over the thing, so. I ended up winning the match. I had to cut that part out. So, yeah, I won. I'm still the World Heavyweight Champion. Screw all y'all.